Right, so this is your governor arm. But this shaft here goes into your centrifugal weights inside your engine. I'll show you that in a minute. You got this spring gear that attaches to this throttle. Sometimes that's in a set position, but on this one it's got it moves fast and slow, obviously. Air and the tortoise. Then you got this linkage here that connects to your throttle. There. So as it pulls this way, it's closing the throttle, and then it goes that way, it opens the throttle. And this little spring gear just stops surging. If that's missing, you can get surging when it's trying to run. So basically, to set these, all you need to do is unloosen that nut, make sure the throttle's in the closed position. Throw it in the fully open position. And then tighten the nut up. Make sure that the shaft is fully turned and touching the inside of the uh, centrifugal weights and just tighten it up and that is all we have to do to set the governor so there's your governor arm your linkage to your throttle and this spring just is on this throttle lever but it don't actually attach to the throttle all it does is we put more tension and less tension on that spring and then the governor does the rest so if you look down the carb You'll see the throttle opening and closing. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's closed and then open. So there you can see the other side of the governor arm. And basically then when the crank turns, it turns that little gear there. The centrifugal weights shoot out and push this lever. So when you set this, you want to make sure that that is touching them weights. So I'm going to do that now while you're watching. That's just like what it looks like inside. You want it in that position. I'll just set it up <coughs> oh, one last time then. So I'm making sure the throttle's wide open. That is it.